Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to another video on Kotlin programming. So in this one single video, I will talk about all you need to know about enum classes or just enum in Kotlin. So without wasting any time, let's start it. So let us start with the syntax to define enum. Well, we define enum by using enum space class space a class name like this. So why do we create enum in Kotlin? What is its purpose? Well, we generally use enum to store same type of constant values. For example, within this enum class of credit card type, we can store constant values for each card type, such as silver, gold and platinum, separated by a comma. So this is our enum or the enum class. And these are enum constants. So please note this. And you can access these constants within the main function by using the enum class name dot the constant value name, such as gold. And these constant values are nothing but the constant object of this class credit card type. So this silver is an object of class credit card type. Similarly, these two are also the constant objects of the same class credit card type. So here, if you assign this expression to a variable and check its type by pressing Alt plus Enter, then you will find that this gold is of the type of credit card type. So please note this point. Now, these objects are by default arranged in sequence and are assigned an index value such as 0, 1 and 2. And these indices can be accessed by using a predefined property known as ordinal. And similar to ordinal, there is one more default property known as name. So whatever name you will give to your object such as silver, gold and platinum in our case, this will become the name of this object as string over here. And you can access these two properties by simply using the property names. Such as class name dot constant object dot ordinal. Similarly, we can access name. Let's run the program. So this is the ordinal and this is the name. Perfect. And even if you remove this dot name from here, then also the output will be the same because this will internally execute the two string method, which by default return the name of this constant, which is gold. So if you run this program now, so yes, the output is same in the default case. So in the default case, you can either use this or this. Next. Similar to properties, enum has two default methods as well, which are values and value of. Well, this one is important. So this values function returns all the enum objects in the form of an array. So if you use credit card type dot values and assign it to a variable, then this method is going to return the array of objects. So let's use Alt plus Enter and check its type. So yes, it is array of credit card type class. Great. And you can of course use this array to print all the values in a loop. Like this. Run the program. So this is the output from the loop. Next. The most common usage of enums are within the when statement. So we can use when and then let's use this value variable or let's give it a proper name such as peter card type so within when let's pass peter card type and check what's the card type of peter so i will just press alt plus enter and add all the branches and in place of to do i will print something in each case so we know that this branch will be printed because Peter has gold type card. 
So yes, we got Peter has gold card. Nice and simple. Now let's clean up our code and start fresh. Well, don't worry, you will get the entire source code from the link in the description. So after the basics, let us explore more. Well, these two are the default properties of enum constants, right? But if you want to add more properties to each enum object as per our requirement, then how can we do that? Well, for that, we can use the enum class constructor. And within this, let us define a property such as the color of the credit card. Now, once you do this, then you must assign a color to these enum objects as well. Because enums are constant values and they must be initialized at the time of declaration. So to match this class type for each object, we need to define their constructor as well. So within each constructor, we need to pass the value of the color, such as gray, gold and black. So these are the constant string values which cannot be changed later once defined. Right? And you can access this new property of color just like any other property. Like this. So this will print gray in the output console. Perfect. Similarly, you can add more properties to this constructor such as max limit of the credit card this time. So either you define the second parameter for these objects over here or you can do one more thing. You can assign a default value to it such as 1 million and this default value will be applied to all the constant objects. And of course, you can override this default value as well. For example, for silver, I can override the value as let's say 50,000. So for silver, the max limit becomes 50,000 and for these two, the default value will be applied, which is 1 million. Nice and simple. Now moving on, you can also implement interface in your enum class, just like we do in any other Kotlin class. So let's clean up our code a little bit and create an interface card cashback and define an abstract method of get cashback value. We can then implement this interface on our enum class. So over here, I will use the interface name. And now once you implement this interface, then you have to match your object declaration to its class type, right? So you need to override this method within each of these objects. So what I will do is I will just create a curly bracket over here and within this override the function of get cashback value like this and return a value let's say 0.02f which is 2% right and since we are returning a single value so what we can do is we can use this function as expression great similarly for gold and platinum we must override and return a value like this and you can access these methods by using the object name within our main function. So this statement is going to print 0.02 in the output console. Quite simple, isn't it? Now there is one last concept which you must know in case of Kotlin. That is how to use enum class objects as anonymous classes by using the abstract functions. Well, this concept is very similar to the case of interface which we just saw in our code. But I want you to take this topic as an assignment and explore this topic yourself. So go ahead and do it after this video. So finally, let us summarize this video. So when should you exactly use enum? So when you have a limited number of constant values, then you can group them together in something called enum class. Now remember, enum objects are constant values. So once you create them, you cannot change their property values later. Well, each enum constant is a separate instance of the enum class. And each constant object has two properties of name and ordinal. 
and they have default methods of values and value of. Well, you can assign your own properties to each enum objects by using a constructor. Next, enum classes can implement interfaces. But remember, they cannot inherit from abstract classes or open classes. So this is another important point which you must remember. And lastly, you can use enum constants as anonymous classes, which I have already given you to explore as an assignment. So yes, this was all about enum classes or just enum in Kotlin. I hope you have gained something from this video. If you liked this video, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new, then please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below this video. This will help me to grow my channel. So yes, again, this is Shrank Siddharth signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.